Yeah, hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So this quick video is just to explain the range meter on electric cars. So I'm in a Peugeot Ion at the moment. Um, as you can see, the battery is nearly full. Uh, it was full when I left. It is um, probably only about one degree. It's certainly near frozen, freezing at the moment. Um, I'm having to drive with the heating on full the air conditioning on as well because the windows are steaming up and it is very very cold so when i left the range meter was only showing 34 miles and obviously a car like this will do a lot more than 34 miles to a charge we're driving in sort of worse conditions it's freezing and i've got the heating on all the time so uh on these you know they would sort of do 70 80 about 80 miles in the summer so you know maybe 60 miles but this was only showing half that so i'm just going this video really is to show you do not rely on that uh, range meter so i've been driving about 15 minutes so far uh, mileage wise i've probably done 15 miles or um, maybe 10 12 15 miles something like that and you can see on the fuel gauge, I've knocked two bars off the fuel gauge. So uh, what would that be? 10%, something like that. And already the mileage has gone up from 33 or 34 miles when I started to 41 miles. So I'm now going to put the air conditioning back on because I turned it off because it's the fans are a bit noisy. So I'm on maximum heat, air conditioning, on uh, so everything's to its maximum and you can see the range has now dropped to 30 miles so I'll pause the video I'll keep driving I see the battery bar has also dropped one more but uh, we've got about 25 miles to drive back so I will pause now and come back to this when I'm home so I'm back home now and I've just driven, I think, 29 miles. I didn't, I'm not measuring this accurate. This is just a very rough um, guide to show you uh, how inaccurate range meters are. So I'm, I'm pretty sure, I've certainly done 28 miles, but I think it's uh, 29 miles I've just driven, maybe 30 miles. Um, and a worst possible driving, it's near freezing outside. I've had the air conditioning on full, I've had the fan on full, and I've had the heating on full. I've had the rear demister on most of the time. Not that that's using the traction battery because that's standard 12 volt from the battery up front. But when I left, this range meter was showing 33 miles. So my message is do not put any trust in the range meter. I have just driven 29 miles or so and the range meter has dropped three miles. And I've done pretty much the worst driving uh you know I, I was i was on a dual carriageway for a bit doing just under 70 most of the time it's been a roads and hardly any regen braking on the trip um i've been sort of bombing around country roads it's it's 10 o'clock at night it's very quiet out there and as you can see from the fuel gauge i have used half a tank it's just dropped one bar below the half so you know very rough figures it shows that um, the range would have been 60 miles which is what I would expect from a 16 kilowatt hour battery uh, in the middle of winter um, the car was also very cold it was charged last night but it was disconnected this morning and it's now 10 o'clock at night so the car sat outside all day and I left with it stone cold and obviously had the heating on all the time so the message is really do not put any trust in this range meter the range meter was only showing 33 miles when i got in and that is because yesterday i was bombing down the motorway late at night again very cold had the heating on and i drove back from london to oxford and i was sticking my foot down and uh, obviously when i got in today the car was fully charged again but it doesn't know, an EV doesn't know how you're going to drive. So to calculate this range, it is based on how you last drove and the conditions of that last driving. So yesterday I was doing motorway speeds all the way in very cold temperatures and had the heating on. 
So it predicted today I was going to drive like that and it was saying I was only going to get 33 miles. And, you know, even doing that, I would have got a lot more than 33 miles. I would have still got 60 miles. So, um, you know, if you're a new EV user or looking to buy an EV, do not put any trust in this. Use your fuel gauge. You know that roughly... You know, a 16 kilowatt hour car like this is roughly going to do 70 miles to a charge. You know, 80 miles in the summer and maybe 60 miles in worst case scenario in the winter. So, you know, when it's half a tank, you're going to half it. When it's quarter of a tank, you're going to quarter. And I've just proved that works. And that range meter um, hasn't is only changed three miles and I've just driven 30 miles. So obviously as your miles get down low, it's got less to play with, so that range meter will start getting a bit accurate. But now I've done that, tomorrow I overnight I will charge and tomorrow this will be reflecting something a bit more realistic. Um, so that's basically how your range meter works. So I hope you'll find that useful and I will now put the car away and go to bed.